Hey everybody, it's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Um, hope you had a great Pi Day yesterday. Um, I want to kind of piggyback on yesterday's video about the circumference of a tire. I kind of kicked myself. I'm like, why didn't you show everybody uh, the diameter, I mean the circumference of the Lego Mindstorms EV3 tire? I said, well, I'll see them tomorrow then. So here's what I'm going to have set up, and this kind of shows you the circumference of the tire again. So what I did is I made a mark here on this paper, and that's basically going to show that I am starting where I'm starting from. And what I have on this robot right now is a program for just a one rotation. So what I'm going to do is basically run this program and then mark the middle of the tire where it ends and show you that it's 6.28 inches from yesterday. If you missed us yesterday, uh, we used pi to figure out that the circumference of this tire, we just took the diameter, which is two, and multiplied it by pi, and then we got this 6.28 inches. So today, I just wanted to show you that, how far it is from this point, to where it stops, and see how close to 6.28 that can be. Um, I did turn the motor speed down to 20 just because I knew one rotation would go really fast. So I just wanted to, I don't know, dramatic effect. All right, so here we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is mark that spot and then I'll show you uh, when I come back the distance. All right, so hang on. Okay, I'm actually, I never went anywhere. I forgot before I left you that I should just mark this spot right here. Sorry if you can't see that very well. So I'm gonna make a mark right there and then draw the line and then we'll measure it. Okay, so now I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. I uh, picked up the robot, drew the line, and now we're ready to measure it. So, I mean, it's not gonna come out perfect. I guess life isn't really that perfect, but let's go through the measurement. So here we go. One inch, two inch, three inches, four inches, five inches. There's the six inches. I guess if it was more to be 0.28, it would have been more closer to the one-fourth mark here. But like we said, life's not perfect. At least it wasn't way off, like, you know, three inches or 10 inches like that. So I think for the record, we had, I don't know, that's close, almost close to five-eighths right there, almost three-fourths. So close enough, I would say, in my book. So I, I actually contemplated cutting this tire. I know, isn't that crazy? Um, cutting the tire and like unrolling the tire to see that. And I thought, no way, I just would not feel right doing that. So I thought a better way would just be to let this go for one rotation and to just measure it. So, I don't know, we came close, guys. I mean, I don't know, we expecting it to be like right on 0.28 inches? I don't know. Anyway, there is the kind of proof that our calculations were pretty close to finding the circumference of that tire. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Lego Robotics. I am out.